Advent means arriving and traditionally it's the time of year when we think about Christmas and what it means that God came into this world as a human being. And today I've been reflecting on um, a passage from Genesis which looks forward to the Messiah coming into the world. A few weeks ago, a teenager asked me, if human beings, male and female, are made in the image of God, why did God come as a man? Why, why was God male when he came? Well, it's fascinating to me that in Genesis chapter 3, after the fall, when God is speaking to the man and the woman about the consequences of evil in the world, the first messianic promise of the Bible is given to the woman. The woman is told, your seed will crush the serpent's head. It's going to be someone born of a woman who will crush the power of evil in the world and that was a promise of the incarnation that was a promise that God was going to come in human flesh as a human being but be born of a woman so come as male but born of a woman and so later on then in the Bible as the Bible unfolds a teenage girl called Mary is sitting at home and the angel Gabriel appears to her and he says Mary don't be afraid the favour of God is upon you you've been shown the favour of God and you're going to bear a son and then he goes on to say this son will be called the Holy One the Son of God the one who is God with us is born of a woman. He has the power to crush and defeat evil. He is the Holy One of God. That's who Jesus is. And so as we prepare our hearts for Christmas in this Advent season, take a moment to consider that with wonder. Not that just God would come as a human being and reveal himself, but that God would come born of a woman and be called the Holy One and that he would totally crush the power of evil.